Welcome again to this chapter about the chemical foundations of life. Today we will cover uh, lipids among organic molecules and their various forms, so fatty acids, triacid glycerols, phospholipids, and steroids. So the basic unit of fats is called a fatty acid. It is a molecule that is relatively long, it can have various lengths because you have various types of fatty acids, but it always has the same structure. So as you, as you can see on the picture on the right, there is a head indicated in red that is uh, made of a hydrophilic uh, part. It is called a carboxylic acid because it has a C O double bond and O minus, and uh, this can capture or release a hydrogen uh, proton. So this is why it is called a carboxylic acid. And below that, what is represented in black is a long hydrophobic hydrocarbon tail. So you see they are only made of carbon and hydrogen atoms, no oxygen there, so there is no polar molecule, it is totally neutral, so it is why we call that hydrophobic. It is a part of the molecule that will repel water, while the head itself will be able to attract water or to interact with water. So because it has two sides, one side that is able to interact with water and one side that is unable to interact with water, it is called an amphiphatic molecule and uh, this has particular properties that we will cover a bit later. Uh, note that the hydrocarbon tail can be fully saturated like what is shown here on this picture. It means that every carbon has four bonds occupied with either another carbon or a hydrogen atom. So there is no free space to add other hydrogen atom. It is at full saturation. It can also be sometimes partially saturated, so it means that some of the carbon atoms don't have um, the, the full number of hydrogen they could have, and they form double bonds between the two carbons side to side, and still have room for a hydrogen atom if it comes in the area. Uh, what is different between saturated and unsaturated fatty acids is that saturated fatty acids have a very straight tail, as we just saw, of, uh, made of CH2 molecules. But if you have uh, partially saturated fatty acids, they still have the same head, uh, represented in blue here, but in the yellow tail of hydrocarbons, you have sometimes a kink that is provided by the double bond uh, made between the two neighbor carbons when they are not fully saturated. So when one carbon is missing one hydrogen atom, so when it is CH instead of CH2, then it will make a double bond with the neighbor carbon, which is also CH and not CH2. Because of the presence of the double bond, it makes a kink, and uh, when you have a mixture of straight saturated fatty acids and uh, kinked unsaturated fatty acids, you will see uh, that the structure is much more fluid and um, for the same the same amount of molecules, you will not occupy the same amount of space. So basically fatty acids that are made of a mixture of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids are more flexible or, and they occupy more space and they are uh, more fluid. I said that uh, fatty acids are uh, the basic units of fats. In fact, most of the time, fats are found under the form of triacylglycerols or triglycerides, as you may have heard. And uh, they are a combination of three fatty acids that are linked together by the means of their carboxylic heads. Uh, with a glycerol backbone. So as you can see on the picture here, there is a glycerol, it is a, a sugar alcohol that is uh, represented in orange on the picture. And this glycerol will be able to combine with one fatty acid on each of its OH groups. So in total, three fatty acids. The fatty acids represented here in green um, can be saturated or 
partially saturated so if you look a bit down on the picture the tree stearate is an example of a tree glyceride that uh, has three fully saturated fatty acids so it is completely straight and you have another example just besides of linseed oil that uh, contains three fatty acids that are not fully saturated so they contain unsaturations and they have kinks so they are a bit larger um, they occupy more volume than the uh, fully saturated triglycerides Triglycerides are the major components of uh, fats uh, and basically all vegetal oils are made of triglycerides. Um, they are extremely hydrophobic, so they can never interact with water. The next structure I want to talk about is called phospholipids. It is another example of a complex structure, a complex macromolecule that uh, contains some of the basic units, so the fatty acids. Again, they are connected. So in this uh, in this structure, you have only two fatty acids instead of three, but uh, they are uh, similarly to the triglycerides combined by their heads on a glycerol molecule. But uh, the, the the main difference then is that the third um, carbon atom of the glycerol is this time combined to a phosphate group, and then another uh, molecule that is called a polar head or another group if you prefer that is called a polar head and uh, this will create a structure that is very amphiphatic so with a pretty large polar head a middle that is just a backbone and then two long um, hydrophobic tails so the most important function of phospholipids is to form layers that will serve uh, as membranes. So how does it work? When you have um, um, phospholipids put together with water, what will happen is that uh, they will agglutinate in a specific orientation because only their heads will be able to interact with the water molecules. So the tails of the phospholipids will tend to uh, agglutinate side to side and they will also agglutinate with another layer similar to the first one that will be put tail to tail so that all the tails remain fully protected from water while the hydrophilic heads, a bit like bread in a sandwich, will be able to interact with water. So these bilayers, or two layers connected, so bilayers, will form all the membranes of cells, including plasma membranes, but also all the internal membranes. The next type of uh, fat molecule is called steroids. Uh, steroids have all the same backbone. They come from a cholesterol backbone, and cholesterol can be um, seen like it is normally, like cholesterol unmodified um, in uh, cell membranes. It is an important component of uh, the fluidity of the membrane. And uh, it can also be seen as a modified molecule of cholesterol. And uh, this modified molecule will serve as a precursor for steroid hormones. So the most well-known are probably testosterone and estrogen molecules, but you can have also other steroid hormones that are made uh, based on the cholesterol backbone. It is also possible to see other uh, types of signaling molecules based on the steroid uh, structure in plants, and uh, they all have a signaling function. So if we summarize what we've seen today and uh, the localization of lipids in cells, here uh, is a picture of uh, fat cells, fat cells that are involved in the padding of organs and their protection, their insulation um, against uh, temperature changes. And it is also a mean uh, for storing a lot of energy in a very small space. So uh, the fat cells have a particular structure which is called a lipid droplet. This is not seen in other cells and this lipid droplet will accumulate triacylglycerols, so oils, um, where uh, in fact they store energy. 
you can also see like in every other cell a plasma membrane where uh, phospholipids are the most important component uh, in both the outer and the inner face of the membrane. Um, it is possible to find cholesterol in uh, the bloodstream. It is also possible to see cholesterol in the membrane. And finally, uh, we will see steroid precursors in the mitochondria and phospholipids in the mitochondrial membranes. So this closes the chapter about lipids, and the next uh, slideshow will cover proteins and nucleic acids.